It's time for Reaction Therapy 2.0. I cannot believe it. We get to go back and see NF. It has been a long time. I am dying to see him in concert again. Therapy Session is the song, one of our most popular ever reactions. We go back this year, Reaction Therapy, to just honor some of the reactions that got the most views and the most attention from the past and a chance for me to see it a second time. I've heard this song, I've watched this video, and it is one of the best songs ever written by NF. And what better place to do it than Reaction Therapy? As a mental health professional, a psychotherapist, this is perfect for me. To get him in my office and have a little chat with him would be amazing. Thanks for being a part of Reaction Therapy Mental Health Start Thing. Without further ado. And it starts out with this NF therapy session. The following images and or content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, let me tell you something. Everybody needs to hear this song. Yep. Yep. Ah. Mm. I know I smile because I love, I say I love addiction, I love trauma, all that stuff, mainly because I love the healing, I love the recovery from it. I don't love it happening ever, which would never happen. I wish I could have, go get another job doing something else maybe one day and everybody's healed, but that's not gonna happen. We're human. But I got to end up sitting in this chair to chair, you know, just sitting there, let's have a chat. And you have this boy who's on the floor next to the bed, just ready to end everything. There is hope. NF wrote a song about that. There is a light at the end. There are things coming in your life you don't even know have happened yet. So pay close attention to NF in this. Mm, right next to him. Yeah. I gotta stay like a ah. month ago. Yeah. I was talking to yeah. friends and one of them pulled me aside and said we never met but I swear that you know who I am I've been through a lot I don't know how to express it to people don't think that I can but I got that mental ZD on rotation that's yeah. for me Nate you do not understand it's crazy for me kids see me up city slitting they wrist on the daily this music is more than you think mm. don't book me for just entertainment it's entertaining hearing these parents they tell there he's got the parents the family with the mask on, with just straight faces, they don't get it. They don't get it. They don't get how he's singing about real things that real people go through, especially younger people, but also older people go through from trauma, from abuse, from neglect, from just emotional damage that's happened in their life. The music is healing, yet people say it's horrible, shouldn't listen to it. I say parents should listen to everything their children listen to. You don't have to love it, but it's your first step into finding out who they are. And he's just talking about his life, sitting right next to this guy like, bro, I know, I know where you are. I know what you're going through. And I ask people to just look to NF to see that there is a way to work through that. A lot of artists who have worked through that and found a better life that's possible. Therapy matters too, y'all. Don't trash therapy just because you've had bad therapy. Go find some other that's good because therapy, when it works, is phenomenal. What do you think? Don't book me for just entertainment. It's entertaining. Hearing these parents, they telling their kids my music is violent. You got to be kidding me. I guess that your definition of violence in mind is something that we look at I'm trying to do this respectfully. They say that life is a race. I knew my problems are probably catch up eventually. I do my best to be calm. Like he's playing both sides there, almost like the therapist and then him, his real self. Or it's Nate and it's NF. Um, that's curious about that because uh, I never really thought about it that way. But he's in this dark mansion uh, place where everything looks horrible, right? All his darkness is out there. Yeah, they will. Wow. Did he? There it is. Gosh almighty. I will slaughter your family. 
How does anybody think that's remotely okay? That is insanity. That is a problem. That scares me that that's somebody's mother, father, brother, sister, whatever. Man, I can't even say it. Polly, catch up eventually. I do my best to be calm. How you gonna write me and tell me you slaughter my family? That's just a glimpse of the stuff that gets said to me. These are the parts of my life that I'll never see. Woo! I am aware it's aggressive. I am not here for acceptance. I don't know what you expected, but what you expect when you walk in a therapy session. Huh? And told me a life full of drama. Yeah. Said her dad is abusive. Apparently, he likes to beat on a mama. I got so angry inside, I wanted to tell her to give me his number. But what you gonna do with it, right? You gonna hit him up, then he'll start hitting her harder than yeah. well. These kids, they come to my shows with tears in their eyes. Imagine someone looking at you and saying your music's the reason that they're alive. Sometimes I don't know how to handle it. This type of life isn't glamorous. This ain't an act for the cameras. You see me walk on these stages, but have no idea what I'm dealing with after it. That is the truth. This, this I can completely relate to with my job. The things I hear, the, the, the people I experience life with, in my office from death to trauma to addiction to tragedy to you know so, so many hard broken things that are happening in life it is tough to carry it's tough to go home knowing that you know all these people out there are suffering it's tough for him to go home and know that all these people breathe oxygen through his music his music gives them life yet it's his pain that gives them life. And I think part of him is grateful and appreciative that they feel that connection. And then part of him feels responsible for these people and what they're going through because he feels it. He knows what it's like. He doesn't want anybody to feel like he has. For the cameras. You see me walk on these stages, but have no idea what I'm dealing with after it. Yeah. I put it all in the open. This is the way that I cope with all my emotion. I'm taking pictures with the couch. thousands of people, but honestly, I feel like nobody knows me. I'm trying to deal with the I'm trying to deal with the pressure. How you gonna tell me my music does not have a message when I'm looking out at this crowd of people I know are affected? Yeah. I got some things in my life. I know I should let them go. Yeah. Let me try to do. Let me take a mental note. I'll put it all on this microphone. Think about that for a minute. What is the point of this song? I'm just venting, but what you expect from a therapy session? Yep. I try to tell people that in my office too. What do you want from a therapy session? Like this can just be sit and just chat and not do anything uh, below surface level. Or this could be real work. And if therapy is real work and you do it right with the right person, it hurts. It's a struggle. You reveal all of your life. You put your vulnerabilities, you put your pain, you put your trauma, you put your loss out there to be able to make life go better. That's what that person's there. When you trust and you know you can count on it. Can't do it right away first session, I get that. But that's what therapy is. What do you expect from a therapy session? It's gonna be hard, this is not gonna be easy. You, know, you get a trainer in a gym, and you're way out of shape, and you need to get better. What do you expect them to do? What do you expect her to say? What do you expect them to, to tell you? You get a financial advisor because you're broke, you have no money, and you're in debt. What do you expect? It's gonna be painful, it's gonna be hard. That's the same mentally. Mm. That doesn't worry me. <laughs> I know I handle some things immaturely. I know that I need to grow in maturity. I ain't gonna walk in these stages in front of these people and act like I live my life perfectly. Nope. That doesn't work for me. Christian is not the definition of a perfect me. Yeah! I ain't gonna sit here in silence if I wouldn't say. I want people to hear that, especially as a Christian myself. You've got to understand. Christian is not the definition of what perfect means. And I think 
there's a lot of Christians that walk around thinking they are perfect. And there's a lot of people that walk around thinking Christians think they're perfect. And I would tell you to get to know somebody first. Get to know who they are first before you ever judge somebody. But Christian is not. Just because you're Christian doesn't mean you got it and you figure it out and you're perfect. I ain't the type to be quiet. I ain't gonna sit here in silence if I wouldn't say what I say to your face. And I promise you I wouldn't say it in private. I am not lying. People go off on my page and I'm trying to quit the replying. But this is ridiculous. I'm passionate, man. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep it 100. 100. I see a whole lot of talking on socials, but honestly, I don't see nothing in public. I kind of love it, yeah. Why don't you write us some happy raps? That would be awesome. <laughs> All of your music is moody and dark, man. <laughs> don't get me started. You want to know what it's like if you met me in person? Listen to my verses. This music is not just for people who sing. So good. That's like I was watching the Kid Leroy documentary recently, and he said, you want to know more about me? Don't watch this documentary. Just listen to my songs. Listen to the music. And he's saying it's here. Here, like I can go pretend I can make happy raps all day long, but why don't I tell you the real stuff? This is what's really happened in my life. What it's like if you met me in person? Listen to my verses. This music is not just for people who sit in the pews and pray at the churches. Nah. I've been rejected. I don't expect everyone to respect it. I don't expect you to get my perspective on what you expect from a therapy session. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. I mean, I think sometimes people. They confuse what I'm doing. I write about life. I write about, about things that I'm actually dealing with. Something that I'm actually experiencing. Mm. This is real for me. Like, this is something that personally helps me as well. Yeah. I'm not confused about who gave me the gift. God gave me the gift, mm. and he gave me the ability to, to do this, and he also gave me this as an outlet. And that's what music is for me. When I feel something, whether it's anger, um, it's a passion about something, a frustration, like, this is where I go. This is, this is... That's the whole NF real music thing, man. This is real for me. I need this. This is a therapy for me. For me. Hmm. Therapy office. NF therapy session 2.0, second time around. To me, even better. I mean, there's nothing like a first time, right, reaction, but to listen a second time and to, to know what the song's about and to hear the depth of the lyrics, to hear the intensity of the music he puts out there, and also to hear who he's been versus who he is today, what he's overcome, what he's fought through, what he's struggled with, what he has been able to let go of and put in its place to help other people find hope. I just love that from NF and look forward to the day one day to be able to shake his hand and thank him for everything he's meant to me, my family, my son's the one that found him way back in the day, uh, probably 10 years ago. And uh, it's just amazing to see his growth and who he is as a person through his music. Remember, it's not real therapy. It's just time to break it down lyrics. If you want help, check the links in the description. And please, Leave us your comments. Know that mental health matters. Let's go get some. See you on the next Reaction Therapy.